in general for aspiring actuaries, I would say push yourself. You know, don't let hesitation hold you back. Um, you know, get involved in that actuarial community that's out there and, and do it early. Don't wait until you're, quote, experienced enough. Hi, Ju. So thanks so much for being here today. So first, can you please uh, introduce yourself and your career journey to our viewers? Sure, and thank you for having me. My name is Jill Harper. I'm a director at Moody's Analytics, where I'm a manager and a computer programmer on the actuarial programming side, working on the Axis modeling software platform. I started programming when I was in university. I got a part-time job as a lab assistant working on software that performs spectrometer analysis, which is color data analysis. After finishing my master's degree, I started working for a company as a software developer working on pension administration software. And there was a component of the system that I worked on that involved actuarial calculations. And because I had a, a background in mathematics, I was assigned to work on that area. Um, I did this only a few months uh, before I was already hooked on actuarial science. And I went off and, and started working towards my designations. In 2015, I started working for GGY on you know, the Axis platform and then quickly found myself working for Moody's Analytics when Moody's acquired GGY a few months later. And that's where I am today. Mm -hmm. So your career path seems uh, so far like specializing in like uh, actuary software development. So starting off as like a junior developer and now like a more like senior programming leader. So did you know like you wanted to pursue this path or just like how did it happen? I definitely did not plan to do this <laughs> or know that this is what I wanted to do at all. Um, when I finished university, I, I was actually planning to just take a few years off and, and earn some money and, and go to law school. So <laughs> um, things took a, a turn from there. Um, my timing wasn't very good when I graduated. It was the middle of the, the financial crisis in 2008 and 2009. So finding work with degrees in math and biology uh, wasn't easy. And I ended up getting work as a programmer, which was really my hobby and sort of a part-time job. It wasn't <laughs> a long-term goal at all at the time. Um, I think it was quite lucky that I, I stumbled into this programming job where there was this actuarial component and, and got assigned to, to work on it because I don't know that I ever would have even known what an actuary was until many years later if, if I hadn't. So I, I feel like I'm really lucky where I landed. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say a lot of uh, people also not aware of the actual profession, but I heard about it or somehow they landed. And I think uh, we're all happy <laughs> with where we are right now. Mm -hmm. So that is a good side of the actual profession. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so can you tell us more about your work and responsibilities like as the, the senior programmer leader and stuff in this field? Sure. So. I'm both a, a manager and a computer programmer. Um, I'm responsible for the programming in the annuity module in, in the Axis platform. Um, so management is, is a big part of my, my daily work, but I also find the time to do programming as well. So I get this sort of balance. I get to do a bit of technical, detailed, focused work, but then also the less technical kind of people-oriented work, which is, is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And what do you find like most interesting uh, and also most challenging about your work so far? Well, of course, the interesting things are also the challenging things, <laughs> as it often is. Um, I mean, as I mentioned, I, I, I find the balance between the technical and the non-technical work really engaging and, and interesting. But of course, balancing the needs of both of those sides can be challenging as well. Um, but beyond that, I would say that both the actuarial and the technology side of my work is constantly changing. Um, when you look on the actuarial side, we're always seeing new products, we're always seeing new techniques, new regulations. And one of the best things about my role is that I get to see what all the companies who use the Axis uh, platform are interested in. So I get this really broad view of what's going on in the industry compared to most actuaries in traditional roles. On the technology side, I would say things are moving even faster. There are new 
uh, skills and new techniques to learn all the time. And the pace of change is invigorating. So it's, it's something that I think is very interesting, but it's also challenging to keep up with all these changes. Can, can I also ask like, what kind of uh, programming language that you have to use at work? Well, right now I'm using C++. Um, I did a count at one point and I had 11 programming languages <laughs> at some point. I'm not sure what the count is anymore, actually. <laughs> it's been C++ focused for a few years now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I was. I imagine like uh, with your work, like you need to keep update with like on the changes in technology and then eventually the programming language and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you are very active in uh, volunteering work with various actual organizations. So why did you decide to volunteer and has that benefited your own professional or personal growth? And uh, if so, in what way? Absolutely has benefited my, my, my growth for sure. Um, I started volunteering in 2013, just after I, I finished my associate designation, because I felt rather disconnected from the Canadian actuarial community. At the time, I was working for a software company where the actuarial component was fairly small. And I also live in Victoria, where <laughs> the actuarial community is very small as well, although it, it seems to be growing lately. So that's good. Um, so at the time, I was looking for a way to connect in with the, the broader actuarial community in, in Canada. And I have to say, I'm so incredibly grateful for the other volunteers that I've worked with. They were so welcoming and, and supporting to me that it's really been inspiring for me to keep getting involved. Um, since I started volunteering with the CIA, though, I, I, I get so much more than a, just a connection with the actuarial community out of it. Of course, it's satisfying to give back to your, your community and to be a part of the future of the, of the profession. But volunteering also gives you an opportunity to practice things that you don't necessarily do in your day-to-day -day work. So this has really pushed me outside of my comfort zone, and it's made a huge difference in my growth. Um, so there's also some feedback, right? <laughs> you try new things as a volunteer, and, and then that opens doors for you in your career to, to try new things there as well. So there's really a lot to be gained from volunteering beyond giving back and, and beyond connecting with the community. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Yeah, I would say like there are so many benefits to volunteering and uh, I myself, uh, and that's how we also know each other for, in the first mm -hmm. place. And I think that's that's wonderful in, in, in that sense. Yeah. So lastly, uh, what advice do you have for aspiring actuaries and perhaps for like those like interested more in the programming aspect in maybe combination of like computer science and stuff? Well, in general, for aspiring actuaries, I would say push yourself, you know, don't let hesitation hold you back. Um, you know, get involved in that actuarial community that's out there and, and do it early. Don't wait until you're, quote, experienced enough. Because you'll be surprised the the perspective of a newer actuary is important and the community is so incredibly welcome, welcoming. So if you build the habit of sort of being engaged early on, you, you become part of building that future of the profession instead of just subject to it. So that's, that's sort of general advice. Now, people who are interested in, in getting involved in actuarial programming specifically, I, I think my advice is very similar just start trying it, start, start playing with code, start, you know, doing little problems yourself, right? Write a program that'll calculate something for you and, and get your hands in, into it because you, you can't learn anything really out of a textbook nearly as well as you can by doing it. That's great. Yeah, thank you so much for being here today and sharing on your career journey and experiences so far. Yeah, thanks you. Thanks for having me.